I just took TriHackMe's new security analyst level one certification. And I'll be honest, I failed. Now, that didn't exactly surprise me. I've never worked in a SOC before and I took the test completely blind. No studying, no prep. I just jumped in to see what would happen. And while I did great on the multiple choice section, the hands-on part exposed exactly where I was lacking. And in all honesty, that's what makes the certification so valuable. If you're trying to break into cybersecurity and struggling to prove your skills, this might be the key to standing out from the crowd. So today I'm breaking down what makes SAL1 different from other cybersecurity certifications out there, the real benefits of getting certified and my first hands-on experience with the exam and whether or not this exam is actually worth your time and money. If you want to check out the certification for yourself, I put a link down in the description. Go over there and take a look. All right, with that said, let's dive in. So why did TriHackMe decide to create the SAL1 certification? Let's be real here for a second. The hiring process in cybersecurity is broken. And I feel like it's been broken for quite some time now. There's too many job seekers out there that are doing everything right. Studying, labbing, getting certifications, but they're still getting rejected. Meanwhile, hiring managers don't trust entry-level candidates. Sound familiar to you? Let me know if you've dealt with this problem before. Some of the candidates have the knowledge, but lack that hands-on experience, while others have the hands-on skills, but lack an, a structured understanding of the cybersecurity fundamentals. Try Hack Me saw this problem firsthand and decided to take action. They interviewed hundreds of hiring managers and SOC analysts to figure out exactly what was missing. They hosted live research events, built a mentorship program, and partnered with Accenture and Salesforce to ensure this new certification aligns with what the industry actually needs, and even tested a mini certification beta to see what worked and what didn't. What they found was clear. Most cybersecurity certifications don't reflect real world SOC work. They focused on theory, multiple choice tests, and memorization. But in a SOC, you don't need to recite knowledge. You need to analyze cybersecurity alerts, investigate incidents, and make fast decisions. That's why they built the SAL-1, to actually test whether or not you can do the job. So what makes the SAL-1 certification different? The thing is, this isn't just another certification. SAL-1 is designed to feel like a real life SOC position. It is a fully hands-on practical certification that mimics the work of an actual security analyst. It starts off with a multiple choice section that tests your cybersecurity fundamentals, it covers things like networking, threat detection, log analysis. But the thing is, the multiple choice section actually only counts for 20% of your final score. The real challenge is the hands-on practical assessment. This is where you get a step into a simulated SOC environment. Triage real alerts, analyze logs, escalate incidents, and the most important part, write real reports, just like an actual security analyst would. And unlike most certifications where you can take your sweet time Googling answers, SAL1 puts you under real SOC pressures. Just because you are troubleshooting and writing reports doesn't mean alerts stop flowing in. They are constantly flowing in. You don't get unlimited time to troubleshoot. You can't just memorize answers and expect to pass. You have to think fast and act actually like a real security analyst would. And I think that's what caught me the most off guard. Like I said in the beginning, I failed. And that's because I went in completely unprepared. I want to see just how difficult it would be if I went in cold, no practice at all. Now the multiple choice section, no problem. I knew my stuff, but when it came to the hands-on portion, I got completely wrecked. My analysis wasn't detailed enough. My incident reports were too vague and I didn't provide enough supporting evidence in my findings. And in a real life sock, Details matter. You can't just be like, uh, I think something just happened. You need to prove it. You need to document it and explain why it matters. But here's the thing. I actually love this experience. This wasn't just another test where you memorize answers and move on. 
it exposed my weak points and gave me a clearer roadmap for improvement. Now I know exactly what I need to do before I take it again. And yes, before you ask, the exam comes with one free retake. Over the next few days, I'll be studying, practicing report writing, and diving into hands-on sock scenarios with TryHackMe, and then I will retake it. TryHackMe has a complete learning path, including labs to learn and practice all the skills needed to pass this exam with flying colors. And I love that this certification doesn't just let you fake your way through it. It forces you to develop real world skills. And that's exactly what the cybersecurity industry needs more of. Now, who should take the SAL one? If you are an aspiring SOC analyst trying to break into cybersecurity, this certification is one of the best ways to prove you have the skills. Hire managers want to see more than just theory. They want to know you can actually do the job. This certification gives you that proof. And if you're already working in cybersecurity, but looking to validate your skills and push for a promotion, SAL1 is a great way to stand out. And if you're a hiring manager looking for a reliable way to evaluate SOC analyst candidates, this certification tests hands-on ability, not just multiple choice knowledge. If you wanna learn more about the certification, check out the link down in the description. So the big question, is it worth it? If you're strong enough. If you wanna stand out in the cybersecurity job market, this cert is a game changer. If you are struggling with hands-on experience, this gives you a real world SOC simulation to learn from. And if you are tired of overpriced certs, SAL1 is one of the most affordable cybersecurity certifications out there. But if you're not ready for a fast paced, real world cybersecurity work, this certification is gonna expose that. It's tough, but that's what makes it so valuable. If you're serious about becoming a SOC analyst, SAL1 is absolutely worth considering. Check the certification out using the link down in the description and see if it's right for you. Now, I'll be taking the exam again here in a few days after doing some actual studying, and this time, I'll be ready. If you've taken the SAL1 exam or are planning to, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear how it went for you. Also, if you're looking for more real-world cybersecurity career advice, make sure and subscribe. And if you're new to Try Hack Me, Make sure and check out their beginner-friendly labs. They are a great way to get hands-on experience before diving into a certification like this. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, keep learning.